think we just saved. Oh, did we save a bug? A, a what? A crawfish. A crawfish. Wow. Okay, 
that faces that direction. Did we miss the trail? No, it's coming up. So we'll... We will turn. Show that. We haven't tried this yet, and we can't with the baby, unless we carry her. Um, but there is a pedestrian path instead of just that sharp hill road to go from this area down to the bottom of the campground. And it's fairly steep, but it's kind of stepped. Called Billy Goat Trail. Zach is dying to try this, so I'm, we'll probably have to go down it with him. I'm not so sure about coming back up, so we might have to come rescue me. This one and the one near mining. It's the same trail. It comes out near mining. If you're of my generation, that that's playground equipment you'll recognize, all metal. Um, but you know, it's nice to have something back here because the other playgrounds are at the very top and bottom, so it's not as easy for kids to get to on their own. Somebody's got bacon going, and it smells delicious. I might make some this morning. You are? Probably just having anything. I don't. Well, I would think I, would, I think I want to cook. We'll see what how everybody feels. We're gonna do the breakfast buffet at the restaurant tomorrow morning. That's hardcore. Pet campers, we're not that brave. That's hardcore. We're the bravest of the brave are the tent campers with no electric or anything. I don't know how they do it. No, Dad, the people that we just passed was using two sticks to make fire. No, they were not. Yep. See, I could never. Well, I could do that. One of the sticks has to be a lighter, though. Yep. <laughs> There's our cabin straight ahead, and the treehouse thing is next to ours. Our neighbors that gave and Zachary our neighbors that, our neighbors that gave Zachary a dollar. You kind of have to be you on know, your break here. Some of these, a lot of the cabins, or not cabins, RVs to our left here are seasonals, but there are seasonals in other parts of the park as well. Ooh. We met someone that was. We met. Be excited to meet us. Um, so that was cool. We met a lot of people here so far who either have seen our sign, um, and joined the group, or were already in the group prior. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of fun. Oh, Everybody's nice. been super nice. Nutcracker down. There is the house of us like, oh, oh it came back today. Of course, I lost I lost the connection in the same spot last night during the wagon ride, and I waited a couple minutes and didn't come back, so then I just recorded it. That's typically... This the, is Boo Boo Bungalow. Yeah, which apparently you can stay in, but yeah. it's tiny. I mean, it's got to be low roof. Someone taller than you is in there. Yeah. And you can barely even fit in that loft. I was riding the gas there, I'm not right. Coming down here. This now, the bottom of the campground of is the original. When it was just Bill Run Campground and Water Slides, um, it switched to a Jellystone in the late 80s. And a lot of the upper portion is pretty new within the last, I don't know, I think decade or so. There's the bottom of Billy Goat Trail. So that's where you come out if you walk There was the a wasp nest on the mountain the water slides. Slide. Yeah, there's the train and the gem lining is back there. Some the mountain water slides. Places to take photos. And a giant yogi. Oh, the ice cream stuff and everything. Yeah, I'll spin around because I can't really go anywhere else. Oh, mini golf is up there. Mini golf is up on the hill. Mountain. There's the ice cream saloon on the right, ice cream candy, uh, fudge in there, and tables you can sit down. Laundry. Laundry, which is like a full laundry mat, 10 washers and dryers. Jail staff parking. <laughs> staff parking. And then here's uh, comfort stations that are kind of separate. There's men's and women's bathrooms, and then standalone showers. Yeah. On the end. Drive down here to... Now, everybody's probably seen the pictures and things I posted of the main water area. Uh, but there's... Oh. 128. 128. Oh, can I see? I can probably help you out if you have the map. I think it's All right. over there. Because we are... Okay, that's, it. All right, that's the top. We're down here. So we're right about here. 128. Oh, here. So, are you are you walking? Yeah. You don't mind going uphill? Yeah. yeah. So, That's right behind you, yep, there's a little trail. You walk up this path, oh. and then you're going to take a left, and it looks like, yep, 128's right here. Thank oh, you. Yeah. I, you're welcome. 
Just helping some kids out. Covered wagon. I'm going to guess they're looking to find some friends they met. There's a covered wagon there. The covered wagon here does not have a bathroom, but or it does have air conditioning. I saw that in the back. Or they lost their cabin. I hope they're not lost. I hope they're looking for friends. Yeah. Because if they're lost this early in the morning... Yeah. <laughs> so we have the, the main um, water zone up top, but then this is the original pool. Oh, yeah. Oh, outdoor movie, movie theater. It's the outdoor movie theater. Mm. Photo spot. Oh, this is where ceramics is. Yeah, Abby and um, Michelle were down here. They painted the frog yesterday. And uh, the ceramic selection, apparently, not... There's not as many. Yeah, There's, not on par with some of the other jelly stones. There isn't there. Yogi characters. Yeah, no characters. But, on the flip side, they do a nice thing after they paint it. They have a coated... They have they a put spray. Over top of it, a spray. That and it makes it gleam. It makes it shine and it protects the paint. So that's really nice. And it takes one hour to dry. It's an hour to dry? Which is probably all, all partially because of the um, spray. Because when we've done it elsewhere, it's they, the paint has stayed wet longer than that. I'm just going to drive back through here. But they let us take it home before it Mostly got dry. Mickey Mouse! Oh, and a narwhal. And a oh, narwhal. <laughs> I think the folks we met last night are nearby. Because I, I think I remember what number they said. They I don't see anybody out and about these guys. Oh, this side, yeah. Kids. This is um, the Mickey Mouse Museum. Yeah, this is the Mickey Mouse Museum. We are often up early compared to other people at a campground. However, I will say, I see a lower percentage of people up even by 8 a.m. here than I have at other jelly stones. So the reason is, the quiet hour doesn't start till 11, uh, and they have a lot of activities that go not late, late night, but there's things that start at 9. Um, so if you go do that kind of thing and you come back and have a fire, a lot of people are up and staying up. And we, we're not typically people who stay up late, but we went up till 11 o'clock or midnight like every night. So um, I think that's why there's a little bit less morning activity here than at some other jelly stones. So there's a late... Well, there like, are... There's somebody... There are some activities like story time with Boo Boo, Cindy, or Yogi. All right, we're back. Not sure why that ended. This is a separate video, so um, and those of you who were trying to wait for the other one, they were eating back. Sorry. You know, hopefully, they'll find us one later. Uh, there was one person. There was one person. Anyways. One, one person. But you know, like a lot of you watch the recording. But we're going back up the hill. Um, I don't know what we were going to say. That's okay. Um. Oh, the, the late night. So yeah. I have read some comments from people who are like, every park is different, and everything is different for different people. Suspiciously like Santa Claus. Hi, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, we saw them last night, Santa and Mrs. Claus. That's yes, true, we did. Um, they were asking we for my dad. I'm, I'm afraid that they And about. they were asking for him. Um, <laughs> sure. The sites okay. and cabins are close together. Oh, we have four um, so people. Looking for a quiet. Oh, there's more people this time. So if you're looking for a quiet place, um, this probably isn't. It. it really isn't. There's some um, tucked away tent primitive sites. Back there. That are probably much quieter. Um, but between golf carts are kind of a must here unless you really like climbing hills. It's not as big, except for some extended places as I thought it was. It's really not in terms of foot traffic. Like, if you walk the store flat. Um, it wouldn't be that bad if you walk it's just the hills. Um, so the golf carts are almost a bus. And they're gas, so they're loud. Um, again, people are close together. There's a lot going on. Um, so if you're looking to go somewhere where it's like super quiet, this is probably not the place for you. But if you're looking to go somewhere that's a ton of fun and it's kind of an atmosphere of you know, people being around, doing different things and having fun, then um, this is a great place for you. So again, all jelly stones are different, and... I was just about to advertise and just make it brown. Cozy rest? Yeah. Cozy rest. Every 30 minutes, an activity. Yeah, so there's a lot of activities going on. There are no golf carts because it's small. It's a very family atmosphere in the sense that because it is small, there's a lot of seasonals. It seems like everybody knows each other. Staff knows the seasonals very well, and vice versa. Um, but you're not going to get the giant water park features. 
Future or the Snow the Snow Tubing, or some of the other really big the monster trucks, some of the other big, really big um, ticket amenities here. Um, so again, it's just really a preference thing. We have really liked both. We were at Cozy Rest last year and we loved it for what that was and we're enjoying ourselves here for what this is. I think we just saved... Oh, did we save a bug? A, a what? A crawfish. A crawfish. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of wildlife. Um, we have a friendly skunk near our cabin who came out two nights ago. Our visitors were scared. Yes. We had people stopping by to, to meet us. And they're actually the ones who pointed out the skunk. They, they were kind of around the... Um, the skunk was around, like, behind where our camping chairs were, and they spotted the skunk. Dog park is up at the top of the hill. You can drive up there. We're I'm glad Mom there. didn't tell me what happened right away. I would be terrified. I was in my hammock. Ooh, yeah. Now we're going back down on the hill. Again, this is part of the quote-unquote fun. Um, I've gotten a little bit People used to it, but there are a couple steep areas, outlying areas of the campground where I've seen some hilly even sharper and steeper roads that I really don't want any part of in a golf cart. But I've seen people do it. Um, and they have the rentals. Oh my god. Yeah, the brakes get a little screechy when they go down hill enough. Um, I've seen people do it, and they've got the, the small four seaters like what we have, and then they have limo carts that are eight people. And now we're going to have to get there. We go. Who remembers when every Facebook Live I would say. I would say, say hi to Facebook to everyone. Say hi to Facebook. Abby yeah. is manning the camera. Uh-huh. Womaning the camera, she said. So there's We're no driving. trash pickup here. So there's dumpsters on our left. Um, I like doing it. I think there's another set of dumpsters. I like doing it for some there. reason. But again, since most people are renting carts anyway, um, not a big deal to just park your trash up here. This is a big playground over here. And yeah, we'll pull in. where Bingo is, Monster Truck. Here's the right main there. entrance, and they park the 6x6 um, six six and the 4x4 four four here. Military. Yep, the vehicle's there. Big playground. This is where they did Candy Bar Bingo That's last the night. That's Pavilion. That one in the last live we started a little bit ago that ended on us, we showed you the Yogi in the middle of the campground and the Boo Boo at the bottom where they do the ceramics. Sorry for the bumps and the additional noise. We are on gravel right now in blocks. This is the biggest campground. If you see, if you go up, look up that hill, the snow dog park on the top, the snow yeah. tubing is on the left coming down, and there's a giant. Sorry. <sighs> All right. Part three. I don't know what's going on, if it's just because we're losing signal or if it's timing out on us, but um, that's the Yogi statue at the top of the hill. And it's still the snow tubing next to it. I don't know how much we've got. Yeah, it looks like the trees. Naga pits there. Yeah. We showed the big trucks in the last one. Shell and Zach went when on the um, military one, vehicle last year. Or last year. Last yesterday. year. And later today, they're going to go on the monster truck, which is not one of these two. It's parked actually further out. They do have um, it's the option of having someone escort you to your site. We didn't need anybody. They didn't offer anything for the cabin. I don't know where I was going anyway, so that wasn't an issue. Speed limit five. If you're on one of those like interior looping roads, I can see you need a little bit of help kind of finding where to go. I do exactly where to go for the cabin. I'm also like a nerd who stares at campground maps way in advance. So, that kind of helps. Don't talk to him. Don't talk to me because I'm a nerd. <laughs> yeah. I'm a nerd at school. Well, is there any place else we should drive or should we wrap this up? Uh, where's the Yoki Pavilion? Whatever. That was the one in the middle, on the hill. I'll keep looking. I don't think anybody's watching right now, do you? No. All right. I want to keep going. Oh, we never went down here. That's just a dead end. It's just, that's just a parking lot of cabins. Oh. <laughs> oh no. What we're gonna do is go to the store. And yep, we're going. Just start to flash on us. Yeah. This is uh, making me nervous. Someone's watching. 
All right, well, we're, we're going to wrap this up. When we got this cart the other day, it was a replacement cart, and they, they hadn't filled the gas. The gas is and almost now empty. it's flashing at me like it's going to, it's low. I'm sure we can make it back to the cabin, but since we're already out, um, just going to ask for a refill. See if we can get some gas, because it should be open. Just park wherever. Park at the closest. Yeah, I will. It might have me move it. I don't know how this works. 